Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on my mock pot technique with a light roast coffee um, that's ground on this Easy Presso JX Pro to the 1.8 uh, mark. It's kind of the same mark I use for my flare, 1.8. Um, so it's, it's pretty fine. And um, I got my water boiling, and I've got my reservoir here, and I've got my the top of the maca pot, and I've got some distribution tools here, and I've got this like plastic little plastic hamper thing, thingy. And so you know, uh, use this funnel, the 54 millimeter funnel. This is a three cup maca pot, uh, and I put it in the dosing funnel to put it in the maca pot funnel, uh, do a, a, you know, pretty good stir to distribute, you know, make sure no clumps, um, you know, with the maca pot you always want the ground to be pretty much full, give it a tap, and we will do a little slight tamp, nothing too hard. And that's that. So we will put in the reservoir boiling water to 110 grams, which is a little bit below what this can take. 110. You can do 100 too, but let's do 110 for a light roast to make it a little more output. You know, for my desired, um, I want to get out, I want to get about, um, yeah, about 50 or 55 out with this dose of 21 grams of coffee. You know, this is really hot, so you, know, you can use gloves or just a towel. And close it really tight, open the lid, and let it brew. And it brews fairly quick. Um, let's do a shot here. This is all kind of like a live video here, but um, this is what we're going to look for. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let the um, the hot plate, oh, so this is a hot plate that has a cast iron top, so which is good because maca pots really like that. They like the evenness. It's not too hot. Um, it's pretty even heat. And so like James Hoffman and stuff, they all recommend uh, kind of like using some kind of like uh, diffuser. And so this is kind of like a diffused hot plate in a way because it has uh, cast iron diffuser already installed. And, you know, it takes a little time because I did tamp it a little bit. So, what else? So, yeah, so what I'm trying to do here is get this light roast coffee, you know, really good extraction. Maca pot will do a really good extraction on the light roast coffee because it gets plenty hot, you know, so because you're using boiling water which is kind of like turned into steam, created the pressure to push through all that water through the grounds here. So it's coming up there, you know, it's pretty light brown color there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll take it off the thing once it reaches about there, basically. Once it does that, you can take it off and it'll just continue boiling, I mean brewing you know, kind of just, you know, doing its thing without any sputtering, any anything, you know, just, it'll just finish brewing and it'll kind of reach a point, it does that, you know, it's kind of like your crema or whatever, <laughs> not really, but it's just bubbles uh, coming up and yeah, you know, so I probably got 55 or 60, we'll see how much, let's see how much, let's see how much we got. So we got a little wave here. Let's 
get one of these. Gibraltar. One of these things. And a tear. And I'll close that. And we'll see how much we got. Of this delicious, you know, light roast coffee that has been really well extracted. Okay, we got 58 grams of coffee. It's really well extracted. Um, it's plenty hot right now. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make iced coffee. So, because I got peaches here. I already put some um, maple syrup in there with the peaches. I put a couple of uh, cubes of ice. And just, uh, you know, throw that in there. Nice and hot. Swirl it around. And then, let's see here. I'm going to get some um, seltzer. Safeway, okay, nothing fancy, but um, yeah, there we go. And I'll finish it off here with a uh, nice uh, little uh, stirring, get some uh, peach flavor out. 